Okay, so what do you think of the combination of Libra Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Rising? So Scorpio Rising as well. Um, I <laughs> okay. Where do we start? Let's start with Libra. Let's start with Libra Sun. Libra is a cardinal uh, sign ruled by Venus, but it's also an air sign. Venus. The sign of beauty, the sign of uh, the planet of beauty, the planet that has to do with um, with balance, with harmony, with putting things in order somehow in a in a harmonic order. So I think Libra stands very much for everything that's you know just the right way, just the right amount of beauty, just the right amount of. Uh, exchange just the right you know like my impressions with Libras and because I have so much um, Aries as well I'm, I'm really trying to to uh, concern myself with with understanding Libras my impression with Libras is that they really try to keep that fine balance you know like if there's too much of one person expressing themselves they want to let the other one talk uh, if if there's too much of something you know like that's why they they're so well dressed or that's why they can come across so diplomatic or so because they they have a good sense of just the right amount of something to make something pleasant to make something beautiful to make something harmonious um and uh i would say that the libra comes across a bit more uh, they come across very charming so usually libra sons and that's their goal in life you know like to come across charming to come ac across beautiful to come across eloquent to i think a uh, Alice, Alisa Sharp once said, a Libra's worst nightmare is to not be considered beautiful or, you know, inside and out. And I can understand this somehow. I can understand because they value this so much, you know, they, they, they just value this balance. So for them to, to kind of live a balanced life in that sense and kind of, um, uh, yeah, achieve achieve this type of harmony outside and inside because it's Libra is the two players, you know, like for you and for me, uh, is very important. So Libras usually come across way sweeter. Then you have um, Scorpio. Scorpios, I don't think Scorpios care so much if they come off sweeter or not. Sometimes, sometimes Scorpios can be incredibly sweet, actually, but people don't talk about this. But Scorpios are, you know, like a mystery box, you know, like the black box that you you close and there's so much held within um, within a, a Scorpio. So when you have your rising in Scorpio, you come across a bit more mysterious people would still see you as a charming person likable pleasant and all of that but they might not be able to figure you out you know like how you would figure out a normal libra like you might cause some more intense reactions in some people some people might feel very drawn to you might some others might feel a bit more like oh a bit more I'm holding my distance, there's something wrong or there's something too intense in the energy. Scorpio energy is a very intense energy and many people cannot deal with it or don't know how to deal with it. So they are either pulled in or thrown aback. So the Libra charm comes through, but some people might feel, oh, there's more intensity to this person. So you kind of give away a bit of your more intense personality on the inside. Because anyone that has a Scorpio um, moon has a very intense inner life. Any Scorpio moon, water moons in general, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do a series on moons and elements because it's so interesting to look at people uh, through their moon signs and through the element that rules them. So water moons are very, very much in touch with their feelings and the feelings of others. And that can be so overwhelming. It's like uh, Pisces, Pisces like gets lost and Pisces moon gets a bit um, lost in the world a bit. And, you know, it's just too much. And Scorpio moon like feels it, you know, like it's, 
it's like you are revealed some secrets that you don't even want to know you know about yourself or others and you don't even fully understand or you know like you can sometimes this is the thing with scorpio because it can see so deep it can see in the deepest darkest things of 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 some people so if you see the darkest the shadow side of someone um you you start to uh to kind of uh, I don't know, mistrust uh, in a way. This is this is a thing with Scorpio, you know, like I know you have that shadow side in you. So I'm going to hold myself also a bit back. I feel I feel so much within myself. I feel so much within you. I know we're all not perfect. Um, and I know that um, there is so much within me that I cannot let out. Um, so the Scorpio moon is a blessing and a curse because it makes you feel so intense um people say that moon in scorpio doesn't feel really at home because it cannot release that emotion you know like moon in cancer releases the emotion a lot more and moon in moon in scorpio just holds it there like scorpio really guards emotions so it really holds them tight and keeps them safe from the world like scorpio does us all a favor because they protect those emotions they don't let them out they don't let them um uh, you know like they don't burden anyone else with them they keep them for themselves <laughs> yeah <laughs> paranoia is strong with scorpio moons uh, too yeah because you see so much and you don't want to necessarily let it out for other people to see it you're like oh my god it's like i I can see through this person and through this other person and so and i don't want to let this out so i'm gonna be i'm gonna hold it inside and that can be a bit draining or really strong and i think someone that has um, a libra sun you have the scorpio rising so you might come across at times although you have the libra sun you might come across at uh, times really penetrating or saying something just to provoke libra can also do the provocation you know like or you know like a play on words or you really looking into someone's soul just so you can get that information and make your opinion about them just so that you can understand on your inside if you can trust them or not but then you always have that libra sun that can make things really pleasant and nice so you it's a back pull back uh, back and forth between between the two energies and it's mars and venus as well so it's like on a fence and then pulling back and being sweet or being you know not necessarily sweet but you know like keeping the keeping the boundaries of courtesy and what's good and what's pleasant and what's nice and scorpios also don't like to irritate people but it's like you're the type of person that cannot be tricked you you're very inquisitive you want to understand what the person is about your mind really needs to put them uh, in a box or understand where they stand and what they are going to do and sometimes your scorpio rising goes after that and then you might just cushion it with with just diplomacy and being um being nice lovable likable but on the inside you know um you know so much uh so much more about them so you just keep that side for yourself so you might you might come across more diplomatic um but you might know a lot more on the inside and when someone gets closer to you they might be able to see more of that darker inner side or you know the the fears that you're not letting out there is moon girl i care about the stars but most of all i care about you and <laughs> welcome to my channel if you have been a subscriber of this channel for some time now and would like to support me or you would like to be able to get in contact with me um, actually uh, get special videos based on what you would like to see and even more get a free birth chart reading um, become a member of this channel there are free uh, tiers you can choose which one you would uh, you would like to to have and uh, based on that we, we can work together um, to help you discover more within yourself and your outer world through astrology and also we can work uh, together through being in contact and um, having me actually creating content and uh, looking into your chart uh, to uh, to help you discover yourself so 
you want to become a member check this out um, thank you all so so much for being subscribed and i look forward to hearing from you guys